Hey there guys, welcome back. Got a Spies deck for you guys today. I mean, I know I was bored of playing Spies because they like hadn't changed their... Hey there guys and welcome back. Got a Spies deck for you guys today. I know I haven't been done one in like forever because it's been the same deck for like three patches but they finally changed it up some. You guys know I can never triple, very rarely, very very rarely triple or double emissary so usually don't play spies so much but we'll go over this one because this one's actually pretty good and uh supposedly a guy who's number one on the leaderboards is this is what he used but we'll go over this we got uh two vicavaro medics resurrect a bronze unit from your opponent's graveyard this is usually resurrect an emissary you know how the drill goes but i mean you could use it if like they mandraked one of their bears and veteran skelga and res that on them that could be an all-array play, because, I mean, you're getting a lot of value out of that. Then we got Emissary. Look at two random bronze units from your deck, then play one. Yeah, these guys thin out your Imperial Enforcers and Imperial Brigades. So they get some value. Then we got Imperial Enforcers. Deal two damage to an enemy for each spying enemy that appears during your turn. Deal two damage to an enemy on turn end. Uh, things doesn't do two damage every turn, but it does it's its old double it's its old effect of you play it and then it gets to do two damage and any other spies that are played after that you get to do two damage for each spy so it's a lot more manageable now this thing is removed a ton against with me i don't know i can't i can't get these things to stick is usually the problem but i mean Still does all right, and especially if it's a deck that doesn't have answer cards like five Elzers, Thunders, and two locks, and whatever other shenanigans to kill these things. Then we got three Imperial Brigades, boost self by two for each spying enemy, boost self by two whenever a spying enemy appears. Cards also always in spy decks because you get more value out of your spies, you get plus two, so that's always good. Then three Rod Tossers, spawn a car cow carcass on an enemy row. Cow Carcass after two turns, destroy all the other lowest units on the row and banish self on turn end. Uh, pretty cool. Because, I mean, if you set it up right, you could get this thing to just do some lot of damage. Especially if you have, like, Final Say or you're against Consumer or something. But, I mean, some other decks will just stutter it and, like, you'll drop it and then they'll drop their uh, Elven Scout. And then you'll only get, like, one point out of it. But you can use like the Imperial Forcers to ping off that Elven Scout, then they have to play another one. Thing is, it happens on turn end, so they usually have the final say on what happens with it. But it can still be good and forces your opponent to play some cards earlier than they may have wanted to. Then we got a single Infiltrator. Toggle unit spying status. Gives you another spying unit and scares them into thinking you have a Meno, I guess, is the reason for this. You might want to run another Vicavaro Medic. Said this, but he's still pretty good. Then we got the last wish. Look at two random cards from your deck and play one. Some more deck thinning, because usually with this version of the deck, you zero out, like every time. It's pretty cool. And then we got Steelic Different, Spawn and Bastard, Assassin, or Emissary. Whichever one you need. Emissary is usually really good with Steelic, so that's usually what people go for. But Assassin can be situational. And we got the Iris. The Iris of boost five random units on the opposite row by five. If you have two Imperial Forces out and you play an Iris, you would get to instantly kill her and they can't even respond to it. Pretty good. Then you have the Seelic with Assassin and a Vrenimer with Biting Frost, maybe. They can also kill her. Or even a Rot Tosser if you're lucky. But, I mean, there's a couple ways to kill her. And she can give you some good value. Then we got Vrenimer to clear weather or to cast Shrike, which will give you 16 value on silver pretty cool then Joam de wit play the top non spying bronze or silver unit from your deck and boost it by 10 it's always in spies because the <laughs> Joam de wit's amazing this is why dandelion poet is going to be just ridiculous and we got cantarella your disloyal unit which gets even more value in spies because it's a spying unit so of course you run it then car her to resurrect our leader because we're running john calvet so this gives you a lot more deck thinning and lets you get the regis letho combo easier which is, you throw Letho over, he locks two units on the row, drains their power, then you Regis and take his power. So, it's like a double succubus with two golds. So, then we got Ranfran of that tree. Play a bronzer silver spying unit from your deck. This 
can grab you your Iris, your Duel MD Wit, or one of your Emissaries if you were unlucky. Then of course John Cove that look at top three cards from your deck and play one. So that's about it for this one. We're gonna get into some games and <laughs> I'll show you my my spy skills. <laughs> Alright, game one crashing crate. This is usually a really good matchup for this deck. Because they don't really have response things. Well, I mean, if I don't start with an emissary, that's going to be a problem or a way to get an emissary. There we go. Let's throw a rod tosser back. Ran friend, nice. And the infiltrator. We got the left, though. Hand's not the greatest. Great swords, all right. So we'll play emissary. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. Huh. I guess we'll grab an Imperial Brigade. <laughs> As I said, I cannot double or triple Emissary or pull my... I have five of them in my deck. Two Imperial Brigades and... Well, no, I can't pull the Imperial Enforcer is the problem. So I'll let that thing get buffed up because I plan on locking it with Letho needing it. Um... We're going to have to go with John Calvet right now. And I guess I'll grab the Imperial... No, these stay on top of my deck, so I can... It's random, though. I gotta go with the Guaranteed Imperial Enforcer. Though so I have at least that out. Because I can res that thing anyway. Because if I pull off another Emissary and it doesn't grab me... <laughs> An Imperial Enforcer, I think that'd be a problem. Would like to grab Emissary and Emissary and then another Imperial Enforcer. To Jenge. Alright, let's res that. A bit of bloodletting. Yep. <laughs> That's why I didn't pick him. We'll go with Infiltrator. And we'll make this thing spying, I guess. So we get to do four damage. If I do two damage, if I do four damage, this can take one damage. Yeah, no way to kill it that way. It's about to go up to 11, though. We'll leave that alone. We'll just kill this thing off. I'm going to have to use Ran Fran for an emissary. Most likely. I guess I could just try to go with Rot Tossers for now. And then emissary with Ran Fran if I have to. I kind of want... Doesn't look like, oh, he has another ship. So we're going to try playing this back here just in case he has another ship. Then we're going to do two damage to his Hey May Battle Maiden so we, one of those guys die instead. If he does have another ship, it's going to mess up with his great swords. And then I have another Rod Tosser. Saving Cantarella for round three is also really good because then you can Cantarella and put it on the road with their highest unit. I is grab another ship. All right, we we'll used up one of those now. So we'll rot toss her again. Yeah, we'll rot toss her over here, and we'll do two damage to this. So that's not the thing that dies. <laughs> Does he have a third ship? Oh, he's actually going to decoy his ship. Oh, that's, that's, I'll take that. What? Why did he do that? Well, now I'm confused. We'll play an Imperial Brigade, just get that value. Any 
before it disappears. Then we'll probably ran ran something. He does have the last ship, doesn't he? Or is he gonna waste off a reviving guy? Please reconnect. Thank you. Whew. That's gonna worry me. Oh, is he going disloyal? Oh, he doesn't have his disloyal. He has his disloyal in his hand. Okay. Well, as you can see, he's wasting off cards he doesn't want to use because we did that. So that's pretty good. If I threw Iris over... And I did two damage to her, I could frost her with Vez Vesmir. We're gonna try doing that. Because this is gonna make him play something else. We've met. I don't recall. Do two damage to that, and then I can cast Frost there if I need to, to kill it. He's gonna have to put something in front of that ship besides Great Sword now. Unless he has Mandrake or something. Of course, I don't think he has Mandrake. He has his disloyal unit in his hand, that's for sure. Okay, so he's popping off a go- Ooh, decoral it. Alright. Well, I think we did enough for now. There's nothing really left to play. So you can take it. We used up his coral. He still has Sigdrif as his priest of Freya's. Two of those are a lot of those revivers and stuff. Luckily, we can pretty much guarantee final save with Cantarella. Yes, we'll keep the emissary. I don't really want to keep the second one, but I'm so scared. Then I'm going to throw him back and it's not going to do anything. Oh, he's actually holding on to that, so... Use up Imperial Enforcer, I guess. Because I'll use this to thin my deck before we resurrect our leader. I think he held on to his disloyal unit. Pretty sure he did. Because he wants to respond to ours. Another emissary, go back. Alright, go first. See, see what kind of magic we can pull off here. Emissary, wait your emissary, medic, My emissary, a bit of blood or no. I think I'm taking his great sword here instead of another emissary. Not letting him have that if I can help it. We serve her who is okay, so there's the second one. We're going to play Imperium Forcer. We have emissaries in the graveyard, right? Yeah, we have an emissary in there, so I don't need to kill one of them off. That is the best target. Hmm. There's the ship. Alright, so that's our double lock unit right there. We're gonna throw Cantarella over there, though. Try to stop this thing from buffing up as much as we can. Joem de Wit. Yeah, we'll take Joem de Wit. It's gonna bring us down to four cards. Our bottom card's gonna be that, so we can guarantee ourselves. The card that we need here, which is Letho with Carter. Alright, there's another great sword. Let's see what Joan Daywood gives us. I think it's gonna be a rat tosser. Which we'll throw. <laughs> we'll throw over here. And we'll kill off this. We'll do two damage to 
this. Modern Freya is patient. Ooh, the priest of Freya. Well, it's a dead priest of Freya. Do we pop our lock now? I think we pop our lock now. We're gonna lock this great sword and this ship. And we're gonna do two damage to Priest of Freya. He's probably gonna res the Jenge in a second. Restore? The heck? Oh, the, the pirate, the ship. Captain. Okay, so that's gonna grab that, it's gonna revive a ship. And we're only gonna do three. Then we Corinther, and we take at 28 power I am no Nilfgaardian. Onward, sons of with Nilfgaard. Regis. Sure, I think, pretty sure we got this guy. Yeah, <laughs> that swing. Ridiculous. Then we Shrike after he, oh no, he forfeit, all right. <laughs> yeah. It, it hurts great swords, but FNA, those those thunderbolts are so ridiculously good to get to say. Let's go into the next one. Alright, game two. John Collette. Is this a mirror match? Or is this alchemy? Hmm. Let's throw one of these guys back. Okay, we got the medic. Throw the infiltrator back. Got Regis. I really don't want to throw any of these other back. Others. We'll keep it. He goes first. Is he playing spies or is he playing alchemy? Probably alchemy. How many people? Reveal. He's playing reveal with John Calvet. All right. Well, our stuff is probably going to die pretty badly. I'm gonna play emissary. I'm falling behind. We're gonna play Imperial Brigade, I guess. <laughs> uh, horrible things, guys. Slave driver. Rot tosser. Well, we know how we're gonna try to deal with that. This is part of our plan, anyway. Kill that off. And play the medic. If he keeps pulling rot tossers, that's gonna be ridiculous. I Are you gonna yes. mandrake him too? How did that Mock mail. All right, let's let's hope for a better pull with this good. one. <laughs> Emissary. Guys, this is why I can't play spies. Rot tosser, I guess. <laughs> okay. I swear I play against other people and they're like, Emissary, 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 Selic, go. Do your magic. <sighs> I guess we'll play him here. And we'll do two damage to the Emissary. And two damage to this guy. Rain Friend's gonna have to grab me an emissary. No, I can John that. I'll try to John call that. What is it? <laughs> Once I play him, he's gonna mandrake him though. It's a problem. I gotta save that as like the final play. We're gonna put Joam DeWitt just to try to get lucky. Ooh. Yes. Okay, so we'll do four damage to this, and two damage to you. Better have something lower than five. <laughs> Probably does. 
I laugh if he plays mock mail and it hits that. My power is oh yes. Come on. Is he running mill? Oh, we're about to get wrecked by mill, I think. Because we thin our deck so much. No, he's not playing mill. Is he playing mill? I'm suspicious now. Uh, let's get the Imperial Brigade out there. That is what you folk lack. Then we'll ran friend. Ran farn. No, he's running some thinning too, so I, there's no way he's running that. We're gonna ran farn. Gonna emissary again. Okay. Come on. Yes! Emissary! To emissary! Into medic, we did it. We did it, guys. This is how you're supposed to do it. Into emissary, into imperial enforcer. Since that one's harder to pull off, and we'll do. Well, let's just start pinging things. Forget it. whatever it wants me to ping. I don't got time. Hell, actually, that's a nice rose of twos right there. Do do do! <laughs> oh, this damage is ridiculous. Okay, we just got a lot of temple there. That's how it works for people. So there's double cross. Is that disloyal? No one can hide from me. We just pass here. Meanwhile, we're 41 points ahead. Does he really have a play that can net him 41 points in two cards even? Igni, then he only needs 15. Ugh. If he does, I'll be surprised. Then we still have our disloyal unit anyway. I'm just kind of scared because I don't know what I'm facing yet. <laughs> Might be facing some Blinter Tenemer thing. There's Cantarella, that's nice. And there's Arletha, we got the combo. Let's throw this guy back because we're not going to need him. So we're going to drive past this guy here. And then we're going to use our spy and have double final saves so we can't respond to our combo. Than children. Well, Spain with Johnny? Oh god, I hope you didn't get Letho. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't matter because you drain, so then I could drain it right back. Um, Throw Infiltrator back. So we pretty much got the guarantee here. I think we're going to have a useless one power, but that's not going to matter much. Slave driver. No door to infiltrator. To now he gave us a spying unit, that's cool and all. That is what you folk lack. We have a way to kill the iris too with Seelik. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna rat toss her here and we're gonna throw it. Hmm, if I time that right, I could get a better rat tosser. Let's play Last Wish. Infiltrator, fair enough. I always Will Spying Stash your Infiltrator. Vesmir, all right. Um, I can force out his Vesmir here. I think. Because he's gonna play it on that row, or not? You gonna get Biting Frost going? All right. 
So, well, John killed that. Ugh, what's left? Oh, Vesmir. So they're clear skies. Or another rod tosser. I think I'll go with Venomer. Venomer, not Vesmir. And just cancel out his. Avalok the Sage. Well, we don't have many good things for him to grab, thankfully. This is some, some trolley deck. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to play Cantarella here now. I shall be your eyes, my lord. And we'll grab the Rat Tosser because we don't need that car her. Now we have double final say. We're pretty much set. I'll throw another rat tosser, or I could save a rat tosser. Uma's curse. Yeah, this was some Avalok to save RNG shenanigans. Hope for the best. Um. Like, I want to have more final say so I can guarantee some pretty tricky things, but I can't. But we're just going to go with rat tosser. Because I don't want him stopping my... Yeah, we had that by a long shot, guys. <laughs> well, it's game two against the Uma's Curse, Avalok the Sage, Reveal, Reveal Slave Driver deck. That's not as impressive as being great swords, but it gives you a taste for it. I mean, you can see, you can see why I don't play Spies, at least. Because emissaries hate me. We'll get into the last one now, and I'll see you guys there. Human. Oh, here we go, Ethne. I forgive you. Uh, Ethne, we're probably gonna get wrecked. This is some sort of like <laughs> artifact compression, multiple scorch. We're throwing back the unimperial brigade because I usually like to keep one of the, each of these guys in there, so we have a higher chance of grabbing one of them with emissary at least. Um, this is a hand that I don't really want to throw anything back. I guess we'll throw back Iris for now. Okay. Because I'm not guaranteed to get the double Imperial Enforcer. But it can still work out. At least he starts for now. Until he throws his disloyal unit over. But I got mine, so... I don't like using it, though, round one. Usually round three is when I like to use it. Maybe he's run Spell a Tail. None shall tread on us. Or maybe not. <laughs> a That's grave error. A grave error. Your humble yeah, this is... Oh! We got the double? Please wait, Your Excellency. Okay. Falling behind. We got the double. <laughs> That's better than usual. It's probably got like... Ulzer's Thunder and stuff. I might just play a second Imperial Brigade. Before I kill off this Emissary. Second Imperial Brigade and a Selic. So I get the most value out of these guys. Show me the coin or Fucker suck Smuggler. Off. We have nothing to deal with that, do we? Nope. Well, we'll play a second one of these. That is what you spoke like. Drought. Thankfully, I got Vesmir. <laughs> Use him up for that clear skies. <laughs> so this must be Spell Hotel? Like weather and stuff? I'm guessing. That drought was pretty scary for a second. <laughs> no, it can't be. He's running Hawker Smuggler's hand buffing cards. I fight the weirdest things sometimes. To see what his idea is. He's got something with hand buffing and something to stop. Unit spamming, I'm guessing. That's why he's running the Hawker Smuggler. Oh, that's a pass. I think I'll use John Calvet. So we can res him. Do I want to go into an extended round three with this guy since I know he's running weather? I 
Yeah, I need some of my deck out though, and I need to get Selic. Hmm. I would love to pull a fake count, but no, because then I can draw into him. So we'll go with... Uh, Imperium forces are easier for him to deal with. We'll get rid of one of these. And we'll take the round, thin our deck out some, and then we should be able to ran for and Joan de Wit or something. I don't think I want to drive past him in round two. This guy's theme like he's got some deck that goes really well in the long round. Forfeited kind of early there. Hmm, let's throw one of these back to give ourselves a higher chance of getting one. Oh, we can't drive past him anyway. So we'll do that into Imperium Forcer. We have some of these in his graveyard, so we can just do two damage to that. And kill that off. Yeah, Panther and stuff. So we gotta be careful. We're just gonna seal it. Your Majesty, I cast myself upon my mercy. There's an emissary. Please wait, Your Excellency. I guess grab a medic. Behind. Mm. To I res another you. emissary. And another Imperium Forcer. We'll kill this off. Which he's probably going to kill this thing off anyway. It's like Elzer's Thunder or something. Let me see, I have one more of those left. Oh no, just a hand buffing guy. So we'll play Imperial Brigade, get our 2 buff, then we'll res our Emissary with the Novice. Then we'll draw him to Wit. I'll probably pass him after that. Plus 7, wow. Alright, where's my Emissary? So we'll grab a Rod Tosser here. Probably has some way to deal with this. I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't. Well, we can get another one, so I mean, might as well play it on that row and work on killing this thing off. He's probably got a one power Elven Scout. I mean, they all run Elven Scout. If he plays something higher than 5 but under 8, I'll probably just place Joam de Wit there. And if not, then I'll just Joam de Wit the back row. We got our deck down to... We're going to have our deck down to 4 cards after this. Chances are really high of seeing Corinther, which we need. Pit Trap. The pit trap. Some movement type thing. All right, we're going with Rain Friend. And that Iris is not a guarantee. So we'll go Joam de Wit, the Infiltrator, no to make to you spying. And we'll kill this off. So even if he blocks the cow. He stops getting the boost on that thing. Don't have a way to use Iris anymore. Probably just gonna pass him after this because I got my Lethal Regis, I got my Cantarella. I mean, I just gotta hope that he doesn't pass me in points with this play. Which he might, I don't know, he's thinking about it. He, I think he's trying to add it up so he can somehow pass me. <laughs> Keep ahead.
What is it? Is he finally killing that Imperial Brigade off? No, it was Ulton. Alright. Well, that was a nice counter. I mean, I kind of wish I had another... No, it wouldn't matter if I had another Medic. Because it'd just be plus four to him. Alright, we'll pass him with that. We have Cantarella, Last Wish, and two Mulligans. We have to see Car her. <laughs> What is his plan with this deck, though? We got our spy, so we can't scorch it. Of course, he might just use um Elzer's double cross to do that. I plane is disloyal now. The heck! We met. I don't recall. So we <laughs> cheeky combo right there. Well, there we go. Now we don't have to worry about his disloyal unit. Uh, pit Trap. It's a fun card. Okay, well, we'll throw Rod Tosser back. Come on. Okay. Yeah, we guarantee ourselves that with Last Wish and Cantarella. We have to play Cantarella first, though. Plus 10. Well, let's throw Cantarella over. Let us see. And I guess we'll grab a Rod Tosser, and with Last Wish we'll play that other card and get a Rod Tosser. So now we have double final say, so he can't even respond to our Letho Regis. Pretty much guarantees us the round. Oh, he's buffing that up. All right. Well, let's go with Rat Tosser. Play it on this back row. Not going to get much of an Iris buff with this. I might be able to with my next one. Because I'm going to last wish and pull another cow. Still has to deal with the cow, though. There we go. He dealt with the cow, sort of. No we still get five. Or is he going to artifact compression it? It might be doable. What are you going for? Okay, recon. For a bomb. A grave error. Why does he keep saying grave errors? Is he talking about himself or me? Like, <laughs> Let's go car her. I am no John Calvet. I Rot tosser. And we'll play it this row this time. Then we're probably gonna throw Iris over after. He already used up his artifact compression in his way to reuse artifact compression. Unless he has a low unit lower than three. Because this locks it. The Letho, so he can't like eat the iris with him. <laughs> you get the effect. It'd be awesome. Thinking about it. If he had a movement card, actually, that'd be pretty killer. Oh, Geralt Yard. Alright. So. Now we throw Iris over. I'm so very, very afraid. And that'll hopefully kill off Iris. What's your last card? Come on. <laughs> Shoop. <laughs> <laughs> How didn't I notice that he's only running one of everything? What the heck, Shoop, are you going for? Go with the 25 power one. It'd be great. 
Or he might go with a return iris to his hand. Come on, shoop. Shoop. Pretty sure we got it with the, even with the shoop. Unless he pulls the weather one. I think the weather one's the only one that's going to suck. Because I think that deletes our whole field from iris. Oh no, he just drew a card. Alright. So, go with Letho, complete the 8 power and the 19 power. And we're about to make a 56 point play, so it's probably a game. Scorch? Oh no, Pit Trap. Not too shabby. Not shabby at all. Well, that was a pretty good Shoop deck. I didn't even know it was Shoop. It was doing so well. <laughs> but we took that one, so yeah, that's that's the spies deck, guys. I uh, I really like how it thins itself out, even when I'm a horrible, horrible at spies because I usually can't emissary. But that's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you face like an um a deck that has heavy removal, it's hard to get that round one. That round one's pretty important because you want to use your spy round three, but. That's about it for this one, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a good one.